Sup all, JC3 here, the baller of YouTube, the general. Welcome to Topic Tackle. My take for today is on the real reason why Kevin Durant joined the Brooklyn Nets. We'll look at multiple examples of foreshadowing to an eventual KD Kyrie collab. And truthfully, I should have seen this coming. Real quick announcement, go ahead and follow your boy on Instagram at Josh Carson JC3 for more quality content and give this video a thumbs up. Leave your feedback in the comments down below. I really believe that this one will generate a lot of great discussions in the comments. So get involved and let's get started. Back in September of 2012, Durant took to Twitter responding to a question that asked his thoughts on the rookie of the year, Kyrie Irving, in which he responded, a superstar. That's high praise from Durant who had just come off his first finals appearance. USA 2016, Durant and Irving both played on the gold medal team that won in Rio. There they developed chemistry and strengthened their friendship. Worthy to note, Curry did not play in these Olympics. Durant and Irving Irving's bonding during the 2016 Olympics mirrors what happened between Durant and Curry when both were teammates on the 2010 FIBA basketball roster. They began to develop a familiarity with each other's playing styles there, and many believe this experience played a part in Durant's decision to join the Warriors in 2016. Don't underestimate the power of USA basketball on free agent decisions. After Durant notched his first title with the Warriors in 2017, he went on the Bill Simmons podcast and raved about Kyrie Irving's offensive game, calling him a better skill-for-skill -skill player than Allen Ivory. Take a listen. Yeah, Kyrie is better than AI to me. I think I agree. I'm going from like skill for skill. Like, yeah. his handle is better. Yeah, we might have to cut that out. I don't, I don't want no problems with yeah. that. But I'm just saying, I feel That's like Kyrie got, I got, Kyrie got more skill. Durant later took to Twitter to clarify this statement going back and forth with Twitter users like he did throughout the early years of his career. Just look at some of these back and forth with people. If you want to read them, pause the video. KD and Kyrie both took advantage of the reconstructed All-Star Game player draft, teaming up in 2018 and 2019 for the weekend. Interesting to note too that both years, Curry was on the opposing team and therefore not part of their practices, where KD and Kyrie went one-on-one, -on -one, shared a lot of laughs, and most notably, shared a few minutes talking in the tunnel before the 2019 All-Star Game. Kyrie went off on the media when asked about this conversation and if if it had anything to do with free agency saying I mean this is the stuff that just like just doesn't make the league fun it's my it's life right it's two people talking yeah. having a conversation if this was a real world would it be anybody else's business regardless we see what just happened and obviously at some point Durant and Irving had the conversation about joining forces some noticeable writing on the wall that was recently reported by the athletics Marcus Thompson is that Durant and Curry's off-court relationship was never as close as they hoped it would be. Durant has credited much to Steph over the years and said this in one of Curry's Five Minutes From Home episodes on YouTube. Hey, you know what, though? What? the man next to you, though. I don't know where I'm being right now. Man. You know I'm saying? I still, you know? be on, I still be trying right now, but I, got, I will not see that man next to you. Yeah. Appreciate you, bro. The two evidently have mutual respect for each other as Curry flew straight to Durant's New York apartment from Shanghai, China following his UA Asia tour and Durant's decision to join the Nets to thank him and wish him well. The respect is there, but there are a number of factors as to why the relationship wasn't as close as it could have been. In large part, it had to do with timing. Durant arrived in Golden State when Curry was 28 and had two daughters. Curry kept a small circle of family, close friends, business partners, and employees around him, while Durant came to the Warriors a single man, new to the area and a free spirit. Spirit. Their lives were in completely different spaces. Their hobbies were different. The article goes on to talk about how Durant's close family and friends became less visible in the Bay over the last two years, and he was left with only a few choice people that were around him the most. On the flip side, Durant has been longtime friends with DeAndre Jordan and Kyrie Irving. This wasn't the case with anyone on the Warriors. He obviously doesn't care as much about the money, legacy building, or he could have went to revive the Knicks, or best opportunity to win a championship because the Warriors' core are proven winners with developed on-court chemistry. No, the real reason why Kevin Durant left the Warriors points to one thing, friendship. He's still a guy who wants to hoop at high levels with his homies. As someone who has supported Durant and his move to Golden State and admittedly likes the Warriors, I don't have anything bad to say about a guy who just took less money to play elsewhere with his dudes. It's unfortunate that he couldn't form the same bond with Curry, but you never know what will happen in the future when they're retired, reflect on their playing days together. Now, we'll see if the collection of these close friends can bring home a title in Brooklyn within the next four years. So let me know what you think in the comments down below. Do you think the Nets will win a championship within the next four years? Remember, subscribe, like, and leave your feedback, comments down below. Back more top Tackle coming soon, JC3. Ow!